So there's a guy named Chris Ware Digital, and uh, he made a video entitled Three Myths About Feminism. I gotta give this guy props, you know, it takes a lot of bravery to, uh, um, lots of courage that uh, you go out there and defend feminism. Yeah, good freaking job. It's too bad that you disabled your freaking ratings and comments there, bub. It's just like every other freaking feminist. You disable your ratings and comments because you can't handle the criticism. Or you know that you're going to receive loads of negative, you know, some negative comments. So what you do is you disable your ratings and comments so that way you don't have to face the music. Yeah. Pretty big man right there. You know, good. This is going to be fun. This is going to be extremely fun to destroy this guy completely. So, let's see these three myths about feminism. <laughs> Hey guys, my name is Chris Ware and today I'm going to be talking about three of the most commonly held myths about feminism. Why am I making this video, you might ask? Well, I can't help but think that feminism has got to be one of the most highly misunderstood political concepts about. Where have I heard this before? Hmm. Oh yes! From this! Feminism is irrelevant in this day and age because so-called feminists are just women complaining because they want special treatment rather than equal rights. False. Yet, this is a misconception that many people are under and which I want to address in this video. I lacked a basic understanding of what the feminist movement was about, which meant I continued to perpetuate a lot of the behaviour that I should have been trying to eliminate. This video is basically meant to help anyone who has recently become a feminist not to make the same mistakes. It is not a video debating the necessity of feminism, so if you feel driven to leave comments of that nature, I would greatly appreciate it if you would take them elsewhere. Thanks. First of all, the most basic principle, feminism is about choice. It's about women having the ability to choose how they dress, how they act, and what they do with their lives. First, let's talk about the word feminism and what it means. Dictionary.com says, <coughs> Feminism means the doctrine advocating social, political, and all other rights of women equal to those of men. Let's talk about what that means. For example, gender rules say that the man pays for the date. If you're a feminist, you do not believe this. You believe that we should pay equally, or if... They, if they insist on paying, sure, go ahead. Feminism gets a really terrible rap. There's a bunch of people who don't really understand why there is a need for feminism, but there is also a huge faction of people that don't really understand what feminism means. Now I'm gonna do my very best to link some of these videos in the description, uh, because I forgot where I found some of these videos. But the point is, is that your argument is probably going to be no freaking different from pretty much every freaking feminist that I have made a video on. So, let's continue. Feminism isn't about equal rights at all, it's about preferential treatment for women. Now this is the most common myth that I stumble across and is arguably the most frustrating simply because feminism isn't a complicated concept and it's not exactly difficult to find out what feminism is. <sighs> tell you're sort of new on YouTube and, and don't say that you're older than I am you know I, you've been on YouTube longer than I have because I've been on this shit for since 2000 and freaking six and I only started ranting back in 2011 this is just a new freaking account I've made so many accounts on YouTube I lost freaking count it's, I mean Fucking YouTube and Google 
have to be fucking up YouTube every fucking time. At every freaking opportunity. It's no, it's not easy making YouTube, uh, YouTube videos ranting about certain people when you have a retarded child flagging every video that you have uploaded. I've seen feminist videos on YouTube. I actually have a few of them in my laptop, which I wanted to respond, but I keep forgetting that I actually have this video, and I can't seem to find the original video, so I'm not going to make videos on those videos, and blah blah blah. I have seen their arguments, and almost every video I have seen has the same freaking argument. Some of these feminists come up with shit that's even more crazier than the fundamentalist Christians on YouTube. And then some of them, you know, come up with loads and loads of double standards. You know, not understanding about, you know, reality. Thinking that this, this so-called patriarchy exists. This patriarchy does not exist at all. And not to mention, I mean, I forgot to mention that uh, these people don't even bother to define equality. I mean, I have said this before. What are we supposed to be equal to what? Equal to what? That is the question. Because I don't think... Their equality is the same equality that I am thinking right now. These women are complaining about how the women are being paid less despite the fact that one, women, uh, there's statistics showing that women work way less than men. Uh, men work overtime, etc. You know, just a few examples. And Two, women tend to take the much more safer jobs than men. Men are more likely to die at their jobs. And this is something that um, these feminists like to complain. You know, it's not, you know, it's not society um, telling people that this, that women should do this and men should do that. No, 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 this is, this is part of freaking nature. And these women deny nature. Like, like on how... Um, how a homophobic denies that homosexuality is a part of nature. Even if you are an armchair intellectual and use Wikipedia for all of your information, Wikipedia still outlines that feminism is the political movement for equality for women, equal rights, equal being the key word there. And it's not just Wikipedia that define feminism as equal rights. Oxford, Cambridge and the Webster dictionaries also use the word equality in their definition. In fact, one great website for finding out whether or not you in fact are indeed a feminist is areyouafeminist.com where it asks you two questions. One, do you think all human beings are created equal and two do you believe that women are human beings if you answered yes to both questions you are indeed a feminist you know what else fights for equality humanists but why do people not hate humanists because humanists don't make the same backward ass bullshit that every freaking feminist has made on freaking YouTube that test that you just demonstrated is freaking flawed don't tell me that I'm just being misinformed or disingenuous or whatever because I've seen what feminists have to, have to say on the internet and most of them say the exact same bullshit. And people who say it's anything different are either being disingenuous or uninformed. Feminism is about equality. It's really just that simple. Myth number two, all feminists are liberal. Now again, this is a very commonly held myth, but is really just not true. In fact, there have been some conservative and authoritarian feminist movements in recent decades and on occasion have actually teamed up with evangelical Christians. You get feminists from completely across the political spectrum, from left to right, from authoritarian to libertarian. Because the premise of feminism is equal rights for women, it doesn't really have an effect on whether or not you're liberal or conservative and again it's pretty much as simple as that and it's important to make that distinction because just because you might not agree with a feminist or a type of feminism doesn't mean that you disagree with feminism as a whole it just means that you disagree with that feminist or that type of feminism okay I'll give you the benefit of the doubt that not every feminist is the libertarian fine let's 
put that aside. Uh, I still disagree, at, you know, disagree with feminism as a freaking whole. And, and don't say that because I'm against feminism, I must be against equality. Because I'm not against equality. I myself am a humanist and also an anti-feminist. Because feminists are not really fighting for equality, at least not the equality that we have in mind. They have their own version of equality. Now, I have seen feminists upload videos about how we need feminism or what is feminism or how society should work and feminism is the, you know, the cure to that. I have yet to see any of those feminists debate someone on either Skype, Google, or Uvo, that I believe that's the, yeah, I believe it's called Uvo. Uh, I have yet to see any feminist debate someone, and it's very rare for a feminist to actually stand their freaking ground. So, I'm assuming that even if I make a video response to you, I'm not going to get a video response from you because you're just like every other feminist. Close-minded and not willing to debate. And if you want to debate me, fine. Let's debate. Let's debate on Google, Uvo, or whatever. You know, I have a friend. Uh, his name is WarCorp666. He would be happy to debate any feminist. Sadly, no feminist had decided to debate WarCorp 666. Why? I don't know. I guess feminists can't, ta can't handle misogynistic men. But hey, maybe you, the so-called shiny knight in armor to out to defend feminism, maybe you can prove me and him wrong. Myth number three, we don't need feminism anymore. Again, this is a very, very common one that I hear all the time, and this is a point that's pretty much exclusively made by men. And to me, this just seems like a very common case of lacking perspective. Nothing malicious, just uh, not having the information that is required to make an informed opinion. Oh yeah, we're definitely not equal. Of course not, you know. You think that women having jobs like you know, being CEOs of companies, or being NASCAR drivers, no, 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 <laughs> no, we're not equal, no, no, no. Women today, they're just, they're just slightly above privileged. They're, they're priv a little bit more privileged than other women around the world. That's what you're trying to say. You see, we live in an age now where in Western democracies, women can vote and women are entitled to equal pay for the same work as men. However, women's rights extends a little bit further than that. I mean, in the vast majority of Western democracies, if not all Western democracies, women are underrepresented. And the point of democracy is to make sure that everyone is represented. Ah, uh, for example... And feminism doesn't just restrain itself to Western democracies either. If you look at a country like Japan, for example, where women are not getting into relationships because they know it will be a stranglehold on their career because women are expected to live a certain type of lifestyle. And of course, there are many countries in the world where women are not allowed to take out bank loans and start up their own business, allowing themselves to be economically independent, a luxury that men have had the world over for centuries. So that's just three myths about feminism that I wanted to talk about today. Of course, there are many, many, many more out there, but those are three that I come across very, very frequently. So thanks very much for watching. That's about it from me today. Until next time, I've been Chris Ware, and you've been awesome. Take care now. Well, I'm glad you realized that. You should... I'm pretty sure you're also aware that in Saudi Arabia, I believe, uh, women are forced to be wearing hoodies, whatever, I forgot what it's called, and uh, <laughs> they also can't drive. But I find it rather odd that these feminists, these so-called feminists, are focusing here more often than in third world countries, because these women should have realized that they're far more privileged here in America than over there in Saudi Arabia.
Feminists like to talk about equality, on how humans are created equal, and yet don't give a flying fuck in Saudi Arabia. I mean, don't tell me that there are feminists working in Saudi Arabia because these feminists are not doing a really good job. They're, the government is not shaking in their boots. No, no, no. If you want progress to be done, more and more feminists must stand up against the Saudi Arabia government. There, you can make a change. So until then, I'm sorry, but feminism is shit. Now, as a humanist, I will be happy to donate to any cause that is willing to bring equality and not just, you know, and not the feminist version of equality, but true, true equality. I am not going to donate some, a few bucks to feminist frequency just to inflate her freaking ego. No. That is not equality. That is not how you fight equality by complaining about how women are represented in the media. No, you fight equality. I mean, you fight inequality by seeing where around the world that anyone has been treated unfairly because either their race, gender, or sexuality. That is true equality. And the I mean, at least that's the good kind of equality, and not the feminist definition of equality. So, like I said before, want to debate? Right here, pal. Anytime, any day. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace. The game. Out.